what's going on guys, it's me, ryan 5 one of the Game Potato, a TGP for short. And you might be wondering, why are we doing another Hunt for the XF90, even though that's a Friday series and it's Saturday. So, I did the Veterans Day live stream on Friday, so, um, basically, I didn't do too much Grand for the XF90 on that, so, but we did hit the, um, some goals on there, so, daily uploads now, and we are going to be having our, um, flops only challenge where I can only, where I cannot use my mouse whatsoever, I can only use the arrow keys to turn, but, you might be wondering, why is there a big plan right there? It is our tiger cat. One of the benchmarks of the series, aka, is the first heavy fighter we get in this series. We started off with the P12, onto the F2F, F3F, F2A, F4F, um, F4U1, Corsair, and now we're on the Tiger Cat, the F7F, and then we will go into the Pancake, and then after that, we will be onto the Banshee, and then the end of the series, the XF90. So, this is going to be a pretty big benchmark for this series. So, for a quick reminder, as this is starting, Make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and like the video too because you see right up on the top of the screen there is our subscriber goal which if we get 25 subscribers by the end of this year I will do some random challenge that you guys leave in the comments below. So I don't know what the challenge will be but you guys will comment down below if you do hit the um, subscriber goal. That might be um, jumping into a, a pool of freezing water. Might be drinking uh, like pretty much boiling water. Even though I wouldn't actually do that because that would probably kill me. But um, anyway, sorry for background noise. As always, people are still blowing up my house and doing some stuff downstairs in our basement. So. We are going to be starting off this game. This is actually my first ever game in the Tiger Cat. I know that it has some pretty beastly guns on it. And we have a fancy camo on it too that makes it look purple. So let's see how this will go. And when I get the pancake, which is our next play, you are you guys are going to be excited to see that thumbnail. It's going to take a lot of effort, but pancakes. That's pretty much all you need to know to know what that thumbnail will be. But I am finally in a tier seven. Not only that, Show me what you can do, it's a heavy fighter, Let's roll. and this thing is maneuverable, as I was expecting from the American heavy fighters. So they have a little bit less firepower, but they you make up for that with their uh, better maneuverability, and we are playing with tier 8, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, I'm just going to push up onto these little fighters. Jeez, it feels weird being um, in a maneuverable heavy fighter. Stay alert, pilots. Okay, well. Let's just continue to frog these people. Whoa. Okay. Yep, as I suspected. Some pretty beastly guns. Of course, not very, um, like, strong guns. But being this maneuverable and having, I think this thing gets, um, 20, like, a couple 20 mils on it. And being this maneuverable. It also gets some um, rockets and bombs, too. That's also going to be pretty fun. Yeah, this thing has a pretty big boost as well. I'm trying to adjust my microphone because I never know if it's like too close to me or too far away. I can never tell. But geez, someone is lighting me up. I do not like it. Move on to the satellite dish. Oh, well, satellite dish command center. It just looks, this is just such a cool play. The Tiger Cat. Oh, 
So it looks like um, the enemies are staying clear of their missile silo. They want this command uh, center more than their missile silo, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. I've been seeing so many of the uh, defense aircraft crashing into each other or um, just crashing into the ground. I thought that they actually couldn't do that. Like, I never thought that the AI could actually crash and stuff like that. I've seen, but I've been seeing like the AI um, stuff crash quite a bit recently. Ah, uh, this guy is such a, it's just so fun to play with. Still don't think I can take up too many grenades. Oh no, that's doing quite a bit of damage. Definitely not like amazing damage, but damage. Block everywhere. I need to take out these blocks. Ah. Whoa. I'm dodging it. Okay. Just engage this basic M2. And also, sorry if, since I am uploading two World of Warplanes back to back. Usually, I try to keep myself to a schedule by having World of Warplanes like um, Tuesday and Friday, but now since we did hit that Veterans Day subscribable, and I am doing a different um, schedule now, which is daily uploads, I might just be doing a couple of World of Warplanes, like maybe three or four a week, and then just some other videos and stuff with some of my friends. Because I definitely am trying to plan out some other stuff that we can do for stuff, multiplayer stuff. Because they don't have World of Warplanes and they probably take a while for them to get used to it, but let's see if we can actually end up getting something worked out to be able to end up getting some multiplayer stuff. And I'm also, I might be revisiting Fortnite on PC also. And then that would be some multiplayer stuff as well. Might be videos, might be live stream, might be both. Why did it just say it was escorting someone? I said I was attacking this A7M. And he's dead. And that guy's dead. Let's get this guy up here. Get the spirit A6 on through. Well, I'm not getting any hit markers on this guy. The airfield is ours. Good. Utilize this advantage. Still nobody has actually captured the military base yet. They do have a pretty big advantage as well. Well, I think I'm gonna spawn here and then go after their airbase if they don't capture it. That'll be easy pickings for more EXP, not EXP, more capture points. So we do have the bombers going after their garrison, which is also distracting quite a bit of their um, aircraft. But here's the issue. I know that I think there's a way that you can fix this, but playing with flak only, you can't like change the way that you're facing. Which like it's kind of annoying because you can't like aim up properly if you're doing flaps only, because like this I can like change where I'm aimed up, but for the flaps only, like it doesn't change that, it just change, changes the direction of my aircraft. So it's very difficult to end up shooting the things down make it very very annoying to actually do my challenge on Monday. The enemy is launching rockets at us from the military base. Okay. Take action. I just wanna get this D4M. There we go. Okay, so Need my bigger guns to uh, cool down. There we go. Finally cooled off. 
took quite a while. Let's go into this missile silo. Hope we capture this. That feels good to actually be able to destroy some ground units. Even even though I'm pretty sure um like this, the American heavy fighters are less ground unit destroyers, more like um, anti-air like more aircraft destroyers. Cause there are different like um, heavy fighters and stuff like there's some with like really beefy gun and terrible maneuverability, which are basically uh, attack aircraft, and then there's the American ones, which are like more maneuverable, but carry like less firepower. But I think I can, if I scan kill do. Now I can still do a bit of damage to these guys. Okay, there we go. These guys are respawning. Why does it keep saying I'm escorting that person? I'm destroying the person on their tail. He's that guy's fast. That guy's really fast. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Okay, seventy-five percent influence and it the squall line did just happen. But I'm actually going to pull out of this military base and try to go get some frags. Die soon. I need to pull out this military base badly. They're about to get our air fuel too. But as long as we do have our uh, command center, we should be pretty good. Need to get this military base though. But I'm too weak to actually end up in it. Okay, yes, we got the military base. We have both the uh, buildings as attributes now. We just need to destroy the enemies and capture their zones. This should be pretty easy though. Let's see thing. I haven't seen one of you in a while. Jesus, this thing has a pretty good turning radius for a heavy fighter. Okay. Now I just need to just kill everything. We have the um, bombers going after them. We have the the bombers can be stopped, but the missile does less damage, but it can be stopped. So. Kind of a trade-off there, but I kind of think that the missile is a bit better than the bombers. But that's just personal preference and like area control. You should still win this game really easily. Yep, here we go. Give them a GG. And we win. So good luck with the Tiger Cat when we'll our first game. About second place actually. This is gonna be like 10, 12 thousand or so let's see um 13,000 very good actually oh yeah and veterans day they have this little strength of event mission that you can do to get 25,000 silver you can do it as much as you want like you just need to get a ton of um I forget exactly what it is but I think you need to get like a ton of exp or something in your game and then you just do that over and over, so it's easy to farm EXP that, not EXP, silver that way. So, with this money, you can get tier 9 rockets. That's awesome. Um... I'll get these buy those bombs and then buy those rockets there we go now this thing has some more of it wait i have one 500 pound bomb this thing gets a thousand pounder jesus that thing is just gonna stop okay then 
now we have some boom booms on our aircraft. So let's see how this will go. It's definitely uh, so right now after I got my course here, I'm now actually not gonna be selling these aircraft. I'm probably just gonna be buying a new space with them because these aircraft are actually starting to get really good. Especially the Corsair, that is really fun to play around with now. I've been getting a ton of fuel with that. So it looks like it's a mining plant map. So I actually can't attach the mining plant. Because I actually have bombs right now. So, But I think I'm just going to go after a garrison or something. But geez, this is going to be fun now. I have tier 9 rockets on this thing. And apparently this purple camo I have on right now, I just thought it looked cool, but apparently it's actually, uh, like in every other thing, it's just like cosmetic camo, but it's actually concealment camo for like, uh, marine, for like, um, arc blog and maps like that. So that's actually pretty cool. It looks like nobody's actually going to the mine, so I will go to mine. Just so that one 500 pound bomb. It's gonna make me so slow. When I drop that thing, that's gonna make a giant boom, though. I don't know where I'm gonna drop it. Right on that central area. Look at that bomb. That just exploded everything in that area. Those little like reactor type things are just gone. You are now destroyed. I think definitely has a really good turning radius actually. I actually destroyed all those tubes. I survived it. Now there's just like the main building and then just like reactor type things. Building destroyed. Those reactors are really weak too. This central area is just kind of destroyed. That gives you like basically half the building captured when you destroy it all. Oh, come on. That's dumb. I need to rewatch that. I, yeah, I did not hit that. That is bull. That is just bull. I did not hit that. I had like an inch of room before I actually hit that. I should have survived that. Like, I would have survived that with probably like bumping my tail. That's pretty much what would have happened. But I sh definitely should have survived that. There is no reason why I didn't. Okay. I, w I really wish I was able to get my bombers because those are just really fun to spray at high altitude. Then you just drop 10,000 bombs on a base, just carpet bomb everything. Now let's eat. Let's turn back around and destroy the other reactor. And those little things. There we go. This mining camp should be ours very soon. is very close to being captured. Well, by that we have no capture points on it, but you know what I mean. Like, pretty much everything's destroyed. I'm not sure if we have any capture progress on this thing. We, have, we should have quite a bit of capture progress. 
I survived that, but I don't survive in, like, an inch without hitting the, an inch of hitting the reactor, but I survive, like, less than an inch of hitting that. Sure. What? Something in here that didn't get destroyed? This sh should be yours very soon. Yeah, that was a really good bomb. Okay, yeah, it's not like appearing for me that we're capturing it, but yeah, we definitely are close to capturing it if you look on the mini map. Like, ultra close to capturing it, actually. There we go. Now we just need to go get those garrison back. And then just cap the other mining plant, hopefully. And then we'll be in the lead. The mining plants are actually really underrated. They're definitely pretty strong. They give quite a few capture points for just, um, like, they give... I should have checked again. They give, like, 10 billion capture points. I always forget to check the capture points that they give. Okay. That was just a great rocket. Okay, those should be good rockets. There we go. Just destroy all these ground units. That's close enough. Hey, there we go. Now we just need to get like that mine plant. I'm kind of playing this guy as like a an attacker slash fighter, so I'm basically playing this guy as a multi role. Kind of funny. But I never really played my multi roles like a multi role, I played them like a fighter. So I guess this is basically how you should play a multi role. Like drop off your bombs and then go after like um, air units with like your fighter mode. Oh, that'd be really cool if so there's like a plan in this game where like you. You'd switch it to mode like it would be a multi roll, but like you would switch it to have like 20 millimeter cannons on it, and then you'd switch it back to have like like um no 20s and no bombs, and then it would have like more uh like air defense type guns that could just that can just rip through uh like fighters and stuff. That'd be a really cool play, but it's not a real play, and that's. This is mo mostly a real game, but a realistic game. That wouldn't really fit in. But it would fit in for being cool. That'd just be awesome. I would pay tons of money to see a plan like that. So I needed to take my wall away from me. That's it. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. Okay, so let's fall in and... We are winning, which is pretty good. There we go. Just seeing her go in and out. Okay, I'm gonna bomb this building up here. Okay, massive explosion. I'll just destroy everything else. Okay, now that's pretty successful. Oh, everything respawned. Great. Whole time to destroy more towers. Whoa, massive bombing run. Everything there just got destroyed real quick. Whoa, there's only like two little reactors that survived that blast. Jeez. That will be happening when I get my thousand count bomb on this thing. Oh, I want to get rocket kill on this guy. I'm gonna wait till I get just get behind him and then I'm just gonna Take rocket him. That'll be a fun um, kill. Okay, just let me get behind you so I can rock at you. Here, I'm being a nuisance. Like, a major nuisance.
Okay. Wait. Oh, come on. That would have hit him if my teammate didn't kill him already. Dang it. I guess no rocket kill for me. I just gotta blow that up to smithereens. Okay. So we have this game in the bag. This should be a very easy one. Considering we still have that mine producing tons of material for us. By material, I mean like capture points and whatever. Dodge that tree. Means I cannot dodge any trees. Just give me this mine already. I'm tired of trying to destroy it. Hang in there. The main thing now is to retain the initiative. Okay, so this is actually like really close right now. Like ultra close. Ow, 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 that's a tree, that's a tree, that's a tree. Okay, good, good, good. We have the mine back. There we go. We win. GG. Two in a row. Hello. So, hello to you who are, that is watching. So we are playing with the tiger cat right now. Yeah, this is basically a staple of the series right now. Well, the staple is XF90, but this is the first heavy fighter we get for the hunt for the XF90. So, after going through all of these tiers, we finally got to the F7F tiger cat. So we've won two games with it. Here are the upgrades if you want to see them. Thousand pound bomb, thousand pound bomb, uh, two nine rockets, uh, four twenties. Um, it has four twelve sevens. It has that frame and then that engine. So, we, so far we're two for two with this with these battles. This is pretty fun. Definitely do like this XF ninety, not XF ninety. A uh, tiger cat. It's pretty strong. Definitely is pretty beefy. Okay, so hey, another game. It's actually pretty fast for to be for being that it is a tier seven aircraft. Usually tier sevens have quite a long wave time, but. Let's see how this will go. Attention, you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. Okay, so this is command center and melee base map. I've already played this in this live stream, but it's on the mountain map, which I do like these mountain maps, so I'm going to go for that military base. And usually I actually don't go after like objectives, but well objectives, I mean like um, ability camps, like the um, mines and stuff like that, but Show I feel do, like uh, this uh, aircraft is pretty useful for destroying those things because it can cover quite a bit of ground. But real quick, just gonna fly over here and drop our 500 pound bomb. So we are going to see a big boom, like very big boom, if you haven't seen it already. Now, let's, um, it's a good area to drop this bomb at. I guess this little plant over here, uh, looks like pretty much 100% anti-air guns. So, three, two, one, 500 pound bomb. Stay alert, pilot. Large enemy force spotted boom. over the airfield. Like, big boom. Now we have our tier 9 rockets that will do quite a bit of damage 
and just mop up everything else. Now let's just wipe that up. No, it was completely missed. Okay then. There we go. Mop everything up that didn't get destroyed by that initial bomb. And fly through the trees, because we honestly don't care. Okay, we got an airstrip. There you go. Yeah, I don't care. I I chose to fly through the trees. I signed I signed on to that mission. Who cares about like dying stuff like that? Like tree crashing, I guess. Oh, uh, it's so annoying. I keep it like keep plays it it keeps putting the shooting sound into my headset. That sounds so annoying. Ooh, people down here. Give them the nose dive. Uh spin around. I need to play the Heavy Fighter Strat. If you don't know what I mean by the Heavy Fighter Strat, uh, just bomb rush everybody. Is that guy a jet? Of course he's a jet. Great, of course we're playing up against a jet. Wait. Wait. Yet yeah, he lives. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, just first real quick, um, tier 8. Two thing. J8, um, so yeah, uh, tier 8, jet bomber. J8, um, that's a tier, tier 8, uh, Japanese jet. Another jet, um, another jet. Geez, there is jet. What the heck is that thing? What is that abomination? The BVP, the BVP 210, whatever that is. What is that abomination? What the heck is that piece of German multi role fighter? That is so weird. What the heck? It looks like some sort of alien. Technology. No enemy bombers have broken through. Oh, so J A M. Okay. Uh, don't you just love playing with jets, well, fighter jets and stuff like that? When you're still in the propeller age, how it feels to be a club. The thing doesn't even have a rear gunner. Wow. Okay then. This thing's actually pretty weak against pretty much anything that's a jet. Kinda annoying. And I'm gonna watch a jet bomber. A Russian jet bomber. No, we're probably going to lose this game. We're gonna be respawning in pretty much 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Now just need to catch up to these guys and just shoot them all down before any of them can make it. And knowing my luck, pretty much all of them are going to make it through. And that's what looks like it's going to happen. Okay. Try to feel the broken up, they're dropping. 
Two of them are able to drop. Holy shit. A large enemy force is attacking the military base. Proceed with caution. Oh, jeez, of course they are. I'm just gonna bomb it. Like, not even like a uh, time bombing, like there. aimed up and anything. Just gonna bomb it. The fort will not be available. I, I'm just going to line it up. Seems nice right there. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, come on! Where's my bomb? Hello? Bomb? I'm just waiting for a massive explosion. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, I hate your stupid Japanese fighter jets. We cannot support you any longer. The so stupid. Do you copy? Over. Uh, RB-17 as, as well, because of course why not. Why does this thing stall? Oof, and right back down. And throw it by another Japanese fighter jet, because of course. Step it up. We're losing the battle. Our military He's base Jay, is going to strike on the enemy. So this will make things easier for you. You're going to lose this bottle. All positions are captured by the enemy. You must turn the tide of the battle. Okay, there you are. Well, it's good. That's going to do it for today's live stream. This is, this, it, well, this isn't going to be as long because well, I have a couple of other things to do, and I really just wanted to show off the Tiger Cat, which is going to be the staple of this Contra the Final series. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell notification by the subscribe button, so you'll be notified whenever I go live, which, as always now, will be every single day. So, you better subscribe and turn, turn that bell notification on, so you won't miss whenever I will be going live. Which is always going to be around 12 on the weekends and 3 on the, on the weekdays. And goodbye. And have